Virgo, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, February 26th to Monday, March 5th, 2018. Now what's going on this week, Virgo, is that we've got the sun hanging out right here in Pisces, which for you is your seventh house of partnerships, relationships, usually of the one-on-one -on -one variety, <laughs> a business partner, a marriage partner, uh, or someone you just feel very committed to, that you're very close to coming in okay I think you're just thinking a lot about the people in your life how you can maybe work better with other people in some way on Monday we do have the Sun here in your seventh making a sextile over to Saturn here in your fifth which is your fifth house of happiness it also rules love it also rules romantic relationships kids if you have any kids and passion projects so I think what you're trying to figure out early on in the week is how you can have relationships that make you happier, <laughs> how you can partner with people that are good for you in some way, maybe how you can work with other people to help you uh, work on a passion project of yours, um, who can help you work better with kids uh, in some way, or how you can just bring more love into a relationship that you have okay I see it being very positive because uh, this is a sextile coming in which which I do like and because the fifth house is also a very happy and a very joyful one so I think you're definitely trying to figure out how to be happier with the people in your life have relationships uh, that make you happy and to really commit to it I think there's an opportunity to commit to being happier with other people in some way with Saturn involved so I do see it being very good um, going on as that's happening though, there could be some things that do come up in relationships that could be a little challenging. That's because even though we have this aspect going on at the same time around Monday of this week, we also have Venus here in your seventh, which rules relationships in a square over here with Mars in your third of top, uh, in your fourth, sorry, of home and family going on. So even though I think there's lots of opportunities this week for you to be happier with other people and to really commit to other people in a really good way that you really like, I think the challenge then comes on how do you really build something with other people? How do you really feel comfortable emotionally uh, with these new relationship um, opportunities that are coming in? Um, and how can you really, yeah, just make them solid, super solid and stable <laughs> going on, okay? So I think that is what starts to happen at um, the beginning of this week with Mercury coming into a conjunction closely with Venus throughout the week and also making a square over to Mars, there could also be some difficult conversations or communications with people too about relationships, okay? I think you're trying to be happier with people, do some things that you like with your relationships here, and maybe just having to figure out what that relationship looks like, how you feel about other people, having to address some of your feelings too, um, so that you really can begin to take these relationships, integrate them into your life, Life, bring them into your home and your heart <laughs> in a way that just feels more comfortable more solid and better for you so I think that is what is going on that you are trying to figure out okay you can do your best to bring all these things together to be happy with the people in your life and to really build something that you feel comfortable with I think again there's another good opportunity coming in towards the middle of the week around Wednesday that's because around that time, Venus in your seventh will come into a sextile here with Pluto in your fifth. I think towards the middle of the week, really helping you again to make some changes in your relationships to be happier. I definitely see that this week. Just a lot of refining, a lot of figuring out, okay, now that you've got relationships with people that are good for you, how can you maybe negotiate and pull things out of yourself and of other people so that you can really begin to have relationships that you like, that you resonate with, and that you feel like you can be your more your whole self with in a way that works, okay? And I think there is a chance to do that towards the middle of the week, even if it feels um, a, a, like a, there's a lot that needs to be worked out in the process, okay? Um, so that's what's happening there. Then on Thursday, after all of that, we have a full moon right here going on in Virgo, which is your first house, bringing some kind of ending or completion in who you are and your identity, uh, in how you see yourself and how other people see you and the life that you've been living coming in. And I think what you're trying to figure out here as you're working with other people to let new relationships in that are better for you, I think you're trying to figure out on Thursday, what does that mean for your identity? What does that mean? for who you are, <laughs> uh, um, for things that are important to you, and maybe you um, having to 
end your identity or to come into like a completion and a culmination with full moons of who it is that you are so that you can give of yourself more freely or more openly or in the best ways to the other people in your life now that you're starting to bring more people into the fold for you in a way that I think is better. All right. Um, so that's what's happening there. Um, then after the full moon happens, um, what we do have is we have Mercury and Venus towards the end of the week on Friday, Saturday, come into a trine here with Jupiter and Scorpio. And that for you is going to be in your third house of talk and of communication. So towards the end of the week, after um, maybe making some commitments to other people in a way that's better and trying to figure out how to really build in a more solid way on these relationships. I think there's lots, again, communication, lots of communication just overall this week, uh, but especially after the full moon, lots of communication for you with other people so that you can get to the root of the matter, figure out what's really going on with you, and maybe change your life in a much better way to accommodate the people that it is that you want and need. All right, because this is Jupiter coming in and because it's a trine, I do see whatever happens after the full moon, whatever conversations that you have, even if they're digging up some uncomfortable stuff here, being a good thing to help you be more open and honest with the other people in your life, express yourself more honestly and um, set the stage for some other things that you want or need to accomplish with the other people in your life. All right. So that's what's happening there. As that is going on, we do again, I know I've said this, have Mercury and Venus kind of like dancing together all week, coming into a conjunction at the end of the week. So again, more conversations with Mercury involved, not only your third house here with Jupiter, but Mercury coming in. So lots of thinking about relationships and also money too uh, coming in. Could be conversations now about money, how you can work with other people financially in some way uh, to do some things that are important for you and can make you feel more comfortable. The sun also at the very end of this week on Saturday, now that we're moving, I'm uh, moving chronologically throughout the week. Um, on Saturday, there's also the sun and Neptune that are going to come into a conjunction as well uh, in your seventh house of relationships too. Um, so what that could bring, of course, after trying to work out some details with people all week <laughs> so you can be happy with relationships, I think the Sun-Neptune conjunction could definitely bring some creativity, could definitely bring some insights, some inspiration, and uh, some spiritual intuition and promptings to you as well to the end of the week to help you work better with other people and understand what you need to be more comfortable. Okay, the Neptune-Sun thing could also bring confusion towards the end of the week with relationships uh, and with other people in your life in some way but I want to say that it's going to be more positive um, with all this stuff that we've had going through Pisces lately. But I just want to warn you about that in case the end of the week uh, does get to be a little unclear, a little hazy, and a little confusing with other people. Um, okay, but it could also bring, right, lots of love for you, just compassion in relationships and things like that. Okay, so that's what's happening there. And then at the very, very end of this week, almost on Monday into next week's horoscope, the Mercury uh, and Venus are going to come on top of Chiron in your seventh house, which again could bring up some hard feelings that are a little bit uncomfortable. So this week is like an interesting week where where we're making lots of changes coming in. I think actually for you, Virgo, you're going to have a better time of it than some of my other signs with your fifth house going on. Um, but I think you're making lots of changes in life, especially with your relationships so that you can feel happier, so that you can feel better, maybe getting some spiritual insights, having some really good conversations with people to figure out what needs to be done next. And I think at the very, very end of the week, when these planets come over Chiron, you could start to doubt yourself or start to worry that maybe you aren't doing the right thing with people that you wanted to do or maybe that there's something's going to go wrong with your relationships or maybe you're just feeling uncomfortable uh, inside emotionally about these new relationship chapters that have you've been working out and I think if you do experience some difficult things that could come in Saturday Sunday Monday of, ne of this week into next I think you need to have faith that you've been doing the right thing especially if you've been diligent especially if you've been honest uh, and open this whole week about what you really want I think if you feel upset coming in towards the end of the week you need to have faith that what you're doing is right you need to have patience that things will work itself out in time and you need to um to continue moving forward and to not let it stop you from doing things that you know you need to do and that perhaps you felt as though you needed to do earlier okay so that's what i've got for you this week virgo now your card for the week is the page of wands reversed this is interesting. When I see this card upright, to me, it's a card of excitement. It's a card of vision. It's a card of passion um, happening. 
Um, I, I normally like to see this card as the card of the entrepreneur, but when this card is reversed, it actually to me means that you maybe lack vision this week, lack passion. Maybe with all of these maybe the changes that are going on in your relationships. Maybe now you're trying to figure out where does all of this go? What does all of this mean? Like I'm working with other people in a way that I like and I'm building something that's important to me, to my home emotionally, but now you're losing the big picture. Now you're losing the goal, the dream, the future. And maybe that's what the message of this card is, is I know you have a lot of personal things with other people, relationships that you wanna work on, but how can you lift your head up to see where all of this going, all of this is going so that you can make sure you're leading your relationships in the right direction so that you can make sure that everything is aligning in the way that you want it to go in and so that you can find more of that passion that it is that you want all right so that's what i've got for you this week virgo thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later